What's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of DIY Dad. So this week we're going to be adding some electrical power outlets to my workbench here that I just built a few weeks ago. So stick around, stay tuned, and we'll get it done. Alright, here we go. Let's get started. Let me show you guys what we have. We have um, some 15 amp outlets here. I actually had a whole box of these that I used when I did the outlets in my garage, so this we'll be using these two. We have a two gang box right here for the outlets. I also bought this little piece here that goes into the top of the box to secure the, the wire that I'm going to put in there. I bought this cut off switch off of Amazon. I will leave the link in the uh, description. I did already cut off. This had a cord on it. I've already cut that end off um, and exposed the wires so I can strip them and wire everything in. But you'll see it's a it's a cut off switch here so you can have all the power on. If there's ever an emergency I can just hit that and it'll, sh it'll shut anything off that's on that circuit. And then the last piece that I got is um, this cover for it just so that I could uh, have a cover for dust because I didn't want dust getting in the outlets when they're not being used or when they're being used. So I did buy this cover for it too. So let's go ahead and get all this put together. All right, now I have this spare 14 gauge wire here that I used on my previous electrical product project. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this now and get these outlets wired up. Um, I will leave a link to the video on how to wire an outlet at the end of this video. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. If you don't know how to wire an outlet, you can watch that video. But let's go ahead and get these wired up. Here we are, all wired up, the ground's connected, the um, negative's connected, and the hot's connected there. So now let's just get all, all in the box and tightened up and put together.
right, guys, here we are. Check it out. Everything's wired up. You see my power cord is running back there to the power. Um, I'm probably going to get some kind of um, mounting uh, screws or something to mount that cord up so it's stable. But there we go. You can turn it off. Turn the power back on. Here we go. Let's test it. Alright, everything's wired up correctly. Sweet. So there we go. We now have power to our workbench. Let's plug something up and test it out. Alright guys, I got the power cord to the bandsaw right here. So this is the moment of truth. Let's plug her in. Moment of truth. All right, she's running. Let's test the emergency off. Nice. I think that's a project well done right there. Nice. All right, guys, so I'm calling that a project completed. And I love the way that it looks. Um, it's nice and tough. I like that it has the metal box on it. It's working just fine, so if we ever have an emergency, we can cut things off. Uh, just a quick side note, I'm not an electrician, so before you do any project, especially electrical project, make sure that you do all, all of your research first to make sure that you're doing everything correctly so you don't burn your house down. Um, that being said, I now have power to my workbench, and I really like this. I like it a lot. I'll leave links to where I got this at from Amazon in the description, and until then, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you like this video if you learned something and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.